Hawaiian Electric reports that they've avoided rolling blackouts last night and this morning after the Kalai Loa plant went offline yesterday. Joining us now with more details is Hawaiian Electric spokesperson Darren Pye. Aloha and good morning, Darren. Thank you so much for stopping by with us. Uh, good morning, Sam. Thanks for this opportunity. So this is the independently owned Kalai Loa plant. Any updates on the uh, work to fix this issue that's going on with power generation? Well, absolutely. You know, first and foremost, though, we really want to thank our customers for everything they did last night to help us conserve energy. It really made a big difference in reducing the overall demand for power, and it really helped us out to avoid any rolling outages last night. In particular, we want to thank our commercial customers, really large customers, people like the, the Board of Water Supply. Um, they really stepped up and conserve power and that helped us shave the demand and we were able to have enough generation to meet all of our customers' needs. You know, with regards to the ongoing situation, you know, we're continuing to monitor the generation situation very closely. Collegal Partners is continuing to make repairs and we've brought on additional generators at Kahe Power Plant and we're looking to bring on, uh, to increase production at Kahe Power Plant and Waiau Power Plant. So we're trying to step up our own generation and uh, you know we're moving forward here and just really keeping a close eye on the situation. Moving forward, do you folks think that the increased production at Kahe and Waiau will be enough to avoid rolling outages? Well, you know, it's very hard to predict the future. So we're, at this time, we're just keeping a close eye on it, monitoring the situation. We'll have more updates uh, later in the day as more information becomes available. But, you know, this morning, we're just very thankful to our customers for helping us make it through last night. It was really, um, you know, really tremendous to see how significant a difference that the conservation was able to make to reduce that demand for power. Every little bit that people can do in their homes, if it's deciding to do the laundry on another night or not running the air conditioner, um, those things all add up when we all pitch in and, and help out together. And it made a big difference. Are you still asking folks to conserve electricity? Well, you know, again, at this time, we're continuing to monitor the situation and we'll have more uh, updates and guidance later today. Okay, it, it is very difficult for residents, right? They do need to wash their clothes. They do need to do laundry, et cetera. Uh, do you feel like Hawaiian Electric outside of this is an independently owned operation, the Kalai Loa plant, uh, but we had had recent outages in Hawaii Kai. We had Chinatown, uh, very disrupt, disruptful to people. Is Hawaiian Electric doing enough to increase the infrastructure reliability to, to keep the customers from having to go through this over and over? Well, we know it's very frustrating for customers to experience these disruptions, and we really thank them for their patience and their understanding. You know, each of these situations is separate and unique, and they require uh, different investments and different solutions. But generally speaking, we are continually looking to upgrade and maintain and harden our grid to make it more reliable. Uh, to ensure that we can provide service for our customers. So it's an ongoing process. Uh, we're always looking at not only, you know, improving our infrastructure, but also bringing on new sources of power, renewable energy sources. You know, the, the goal of 100% renewable is, is still something we're very strongly committed to. And it's a matter of, of achieving that and also maintaining safe, reliable service for our customers. All right, Dan, Darren, mahalo for joining us this morning. Thank you.